Hey RC fan, welcome to TJ's RC. Today I thought I'd just give you a little update. It's been quite a while since I got a video out. Have made a little change to the stable here and I wanted to tell you about it, share what I did to make it happen. This is actually my TRX4 Bronco. Or it was, it's not anymore. I got a really good deal locally on this TRX4 Defender body. This Defender is from the first time that Traxxas released the TRX4 Defender. So it had the wheel wells built into the body and that presented a little bit of a challenge trying to get it to work with the Bronco chassis that had the wheel wells built into the chassis and not the body. That presented a challenge as well as a couple other things. Let's zoom in over here to the body and take a look at what I had to change to turn the Bronco into this lovely Defender that we got on the bench now. The first thing that I did was remove those huge inner wheel wells that were attached to the body. You can see here where I had cut them off and left a little bit of the plastic that holds the outside fender flare on. That was necessary because if I wanted to keep those fender flares, there wouldn't have been anywhere else for them to bolt to. The next thing I did was turn to the chassis and start trimming off the excess around the edges of those built-in wheel wells so that there would be clearance for the body to sit down over them. The original Bronco wheel wells extended out too far to work with the body the way I have it set up right now. You can see here that I trimmed about quarter to three eighths of an inch of plastic off the edges of those wheel wells so that the body can now go on and off without catching in these areas here. The next thing that I had to do was adjust where these body posts sit so they would line up with the existing holes in the body because I didn't want to punch any new holes into the body. You can see here on the front that I swapped this piece around so that it sits forward just a little bit and then on the back I moved the entire mount support forward about half an inch so that those holes would line up better. These extra wires here are for the lights on the body. I've got two separate ones because the light bar uses a different voltage than the lights on the body itself. I got four and a half volts from the ESC powering the headlights and tail lights. And then I've got six volts from my BEC powering the light bar. The four and a half volts that powers the headlights wasn't enough voltage for the light bar to work. The other thing I did inside here on the chassis was I raised the rock sliders up a little bit. You can see here I've got a small spacer to lift them up off of where they originally sat. That way they line up nicely with the bottom of the body. And then these little rails still hold the sides of the body in place and keep it from flopping around. Next we'll flip it over and check the bottom out. This is where the major changes occurred because the wheelbase needed to be lengthened for the Defender body from where it sits for the Bronco. To extend the rear, I picked up a set of rear links specifically for a TRX4 Defender. So they were the right length to get the rear axle back where it needs to be. To get the front axle forward where I wanted it, I took the links that were on the back, so the stock Bronco rear links, and I put those on the front. For the upper link on the front, I unscrewed the rod ends a little bit and put some washers in there to stretch it out just enough to get the geometry back where it needs to be. And after making those adjustments, things lined up pretty well. The last thing on the chassis that I did was I picked up a set of stock TRX4 Defender front and rear bumpers. Um, they were less than $10 on eBay and they matched the style of the body much better than the stock Bronco bumpers did. They did not look good at all with this body. And these bumpers look much, much better, much more appropriate for the body style. That sums up all the different things I changed on the Bronco to get this body to work on here and work nicely it does. Now, you might say that was a lot of things to change and chop on that chassis just to put a different body on, but I'm happy with it. I like the change. I kept the Bronco body around. I'm not gonna get rid of that. So I can change it back if I want to someday, but I wanted to change things up a little bit and try something different just because why not? seemed like a good thing to do at the time and I'm happy with how it turned out. It, uh, it looks good driving down the trail and it still puts a smile on my face. That's the best part of these hobbies, you know? They are fun, I enjoy them. I hope you are enjoying the hobby or your hobby, whatever that is. 
especially during these crazy times right now. If you're getting out and enjoying the outdoors and getting some fresh air and some relaxation during this crazy time, tell us about it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you like listening to me ramble here at the bench talking about this kind of stuff and you're not a subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button for me and smash the thumbs up if you're not sick of me talking yet. This is TJ's RC. Thanks for being here. You guys are awesome and we'll see you next time.